the entertainment world creates some strange bedfellows. It's a young samurai, I smoke a split in a cup, and I pass a lot to my bro. No fuck with my flow. Couple bad bitches in a cup of that show. So it's just THC. BBN, Jack Frost, what's up party people? Hey, before the video even start, hit that like button. And while you at it, subscribe and join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. Alright, so... <laughs> yeah, the entertainment, the entertainment business is a fickle place, man. It's fickle. Alright, you make friends just as quick as you make enemies. And sometimes you make friends with people who are just being friends with you because they need the publicity. Alright, so it's going to take a second for me to break this down. So just bear with me. Alright, just bear with me a minute. Alright, so Black China receives a $300,000 know, Ferrari Spider from Nicki Minaj. And uh, the reason why she needed a car was because Rob took back all the cars he bought. He had, you know, she had basically a fleet. And Rob said, you know what, if you want to be, uh, you know, giving the box out to this dude and to that dude, and not just doing that, but rubbing my face in it, you know what, you don't need to be riding around in the lap of luxury. How about that? Yeah, be perfectly honest with you, I'm 100% on board with Rob doing that. I'm not 100% on board with him publicizing it. Everybody didn't need to necessarily know that. But I'm 100% on board with him saying, yo, look, we had an agreement. And you broke that agreement. And not only did you break that agreement, but you were also trying to make me look pretty stupid. Like, even if I'm the only one that know, you're playing me right now. So I'm taking the cards back. And it is what it is. I'm 100% on board with this. Anyway, so, um, not on the public thing, obviously. Putting putting shit like that on social, putting things like that on social media, is it's a no-no. Anyway, so, um... What Nicki Minaj does is Nicki Minaj decides to buy Black China three hundred thousand dollar Ferrari, right? Now some people are probably like, "Oh, Nicki Minaj is so nice, yeah, girl power." It's not why she's doing that. <laughs> that is absolutely not why she's doing that. Black China need to write a thank you note to Cardi B. <laughs> I'm just keeping it a buck with you, Cardi B. Bodak Yellow is rising up the charts. See, now look. When Nicki Minaj was beefing with Remy Ma, like that beef, it's, it's only could go but so far. Because even though some of their fans might overlap, the majority of their fans is going to stay their fans. Like, there's just Nicki Minaj fans that they're just not going to rock with Remy Ma because... You know, Remy Ma, Remy Ma doesn't have that look. She's not putting out that image. You, you understand what I'm saying? So they just not going to rock with her. No matter what her lyrics are saying, no matter what the beats are saying, she might drop a dope verse or a dope song here and there, and they're going to be like, yo, that song is hot. I can't front. But they're not going to become Remy Ma fans. It's not going to happen. It just ain't going to happen. But in the case of Cardi B... Cardi B can absolutely snatch Nicki Minaj's fans. Period. And I, 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 I hear you. I hear you out there. And there's a ton of Nicki Minaj fans right now. To, I'm probably saying I don't know what I'm talking about. But believe me, I know what I'm talking about. They basically spit in the same exact music. Okay, same exact music. The only difference is Nicki Minaj been in the game longer. <laughs> that's it. It's really the only difference. Nicki Minaj has been in the game longer. That's it. That's that's it. There really isn't that much bigger of a difference. Uh, Cardi B doesn't have... I don't know if Cardi B has the fake body parts, but I don't think so. I'm from the Bronx, and I'm letting you know right now. Chicks in the Bronx is stacked. Okay? Chicks from the Bronx is stacked. You don't see chick from the Bronx stealing other people's styles. There's a ton of styles right now. I'm, I live in the Bronx. And I'm letting you know right now that there's a ton of styles that originated here. Not just hip-hop. Not just the stuff that is publicized. But there's a ton of styles. There's a ton of shit that originated in the Bronx. 
some some random mofo bought some kind of started wearing some kind of something and then next thing you know the hooded whole hood is wearing it now the next whole hood is wearing it now now if people out in brooklyn is wearing it or queens or whatever or, or manhattan i'm not trying to say none of those places are followers i'm not saying that at all every single Borough in New York City has their own flavor. Don't get me wrong. And it's tons of things that Brooklyn do first that the Bronx will pick up later and Queens will pick up later or Harlem will pick up later and, and vice versa with every part of the city. That's just facts. I'm just saying, in addition, that there's things that the Bronx just does. Like, there's just things that the Bronx just do that when you see it, you're just like, yo, that's just some Bronx stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and Cardi B is BX. You understand what I'm saying? She hood BX, but she BX. And Cardi B also has the type of, I don't like using the word swag, but she also has that type of aura that, you know what I'm saying? Certain types of females is just going to gravitate to. And the types of females that's going to gravitate to Cardi B are mostly going to also be the type of females that's going to gravitate to Nicki Minaj. So Nikki got a problem. Besides her original problem, which is Remy Ma. That's Nikki's original problem. Her, her, her original problem is she played herself, put her in herself in a position where Remy Ma threw bars at her. And it was bars she can't handle. And there's nothing she could do about that. There's absolutely nothing she could do about that. She can't handle those bars. She did not want that. She thought she wanted it. Then she got it. And now she knows that that was not for her. She just didn't know no better. So, on just on the uh, on on the hip hop side, as far as somebody going at you in the public eye, which is Remy Ma, she can't handle that. And now that's allowing for Cardi B to catch up to her. So Nicki Minaj needs some good publicity. So what was Nicki Minaj doing before Cardi B started catching up to her? Nicki Minaj was out there doing the uh sending kids to school right she was like paying for kids to go to college now cardi b's catching up to her on hip-hop charts on on like the forbes or whatever the the, the, the like the main hip-hop charts of, of all of the the the, the uh, albums being sold cardi b is like um on the hip-hop charts she's like cardi b is up there she, something like one she's like one of the charts uh that that gauge how well your album is doing just hip-hop alone I'm like the ones like meek mill and all of them dudes is on meek mill had like four or five songs up there i did not know i think his like it was crazy like meek mills has a lot of stuff in the top 10 right now but cardi b is like in the top 10 also and then she's on some other list she's like six so like cardi b is killing it with that bodak yellow and right now Nicki minaj can't even release any music because any music Nicki minaj releases it's going to immediately be attributed to her trying to go at Remy Ma. And she needs to distance herself away from Remy Ma as far as, as quickly and as far as possible. Because she she don't want that. She don't want that work. She, there's nothing she could do with it. She messed her own career up. She pulled a Meek Mill. Right now, I'm telling you. She pulled a Meek Mill. But the difference is, Meek Mill was going to survive this a lot easier. Because he's just a dude and there's more spots. You know, in, in female hip-hop uh, forum, there's just not as many spots. In the male hip-hop forum, there's just more spots. So, Meek Mill's going to be just fine. Meek Mill got a whole city. Whole city on his back. You understand? Uh, Nicki Minaj, you could say she got queens, but, you know, Cardi B's from the Bronx. Remy Ma from the X2. <laughs> so, she don't got New York. And 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 to be and keep it a buck with you in New York, if you your shit is dope, if you drop in, if you if you got something that's fire, people are just gonna mess with you no matter where you from. That's just New York. So Black China needs to send a thank you note to Cardi B, and and maybe at, on the bottom say P.S. Tell Remy Ma, thanks for the backup. <laughs> But definitely, Cardi B. She needs to send a thank you note to Cardi B. Facts. Yo, what do y'all think about this? Like, um, I just want to know what y'all think about what I think about. Like, usually I just ask y'all what y'all think about the whole situation in particular. But do you think that I'm on point with this? Like, do this make sense? Because I think it makes 100% good sense. 
because um Nicki Minaj needs some positive publicity and she needs the women to get back behind her and right now she's losing all the women Cardi B is stealing the women it's just facts so um leave some comments down below I want to know what y'all think about what I think about this time all right like comment subscribe hit that notification bell if you haven't hit that notification bell yet you playing yourself share 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 and that's all I got on this one I'm out